Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy and Tarot. My name is Kirsten, and I have your money flow reading for this period of time between August 14th and the end of August to September 1st. Right, it may go a little bit beyond, but, you know, it's just a two-week time frame for your money flow energies. And I'm using the Mary L. Tarot today, and I'm going to pull two oracle cards for you. One from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck and the other from the Akashic Record deck. Before I get started, you know the drill. Can you please subscribe? Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button and the notification bell to make sure that you're notified when I post new videos. I'd like to invite you to join me on Patreon where you can support this channel and have access to my uh, very accurate political tarot readings. And the link for my Patreon is in the description box below. Also there you'll find a link to my homepage where you uh, have access to a donate button where you can make a donation to this channel arbitrarily if you like and thank you so much for all who have supported uh, make sure to leave your comments after this video and hit that like button and share my videos please with your friends family and Facebook as well as your social media network um, and please join me on Facebook become a friend um, I, I would love to have you as a friend on Facebook all right, so in your energy, you have the Seven of Pentacles reversed in the, um, in the position of what's challenging you or influencing you. In this time period, you have the Moon, and your final outcome card is the Three of Cups. So let's start with you know your energy, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. I feel, Scorpio, you're frustrated by a lack of results. And we're talking about money here, but it could also be in other areas of your life that affect your money. You're frustrated by a lack of results due to poor planning, unclear goals, bad investments. And um, if you're waiting for money to, to come you know, to come from some source, you're going to have to wait a little while longer as uh, decisions about that will be made by others or by uh, exterior forces. You may be judging uh, your current situation or what it is you want to do financially as a waste of time. So let's get into the card. Whatever you're doing or thinking of doing right now, or, you, or that you have been doing, Scorpio, it seems like it's been a waste of time, effort, and money. A bad or poor investment. You're coming to that conclusion upon deep reflection or audit. Because after such a long period of time, what you've been trying to develop, it just isn't working and you're just not getting the results or the profit or gain that you anticipated or, or set out to achieve. So now what do you do? What's the new game plan? Man, you didn't plan for this. You didn't plan for the long term, some of you. And now this is about to bite you in the ass. What's going to support you in the long run? What's going to support you for your retirement? These are the types of investing and planning that you need to do right now. But there is this frustration because you're still looking at what, 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 what you're involved in, which isn't working out. You're still in that space, so you haven't cleared it yet. You need to decide what you want to achieve. What does success look like? What are your goals? Why do you want to achieve that? Why do you want that? What does it look like when you once it's been achieved? Get very clear, get very precise, get very specific. Do some goal planning and setting, but be specific. You should have started yesterday, but don't waste any more time and start right now. Money-wise, money flow-wise, 
you're not not you're you're not seeing growth you may be noticing a loss or a lessening of money in your accounts or in you know your earning potential um, or in your business whatever it is you do you may have to pull out some money from your savings from your reserve accounts to make do during this current time period between now and September 1st or maybe to make it an investment or to purchase something but be aware that that investment or purchase could be a bad one it may prove to be a waste or that may be what it is you are fearing you have the moon here in your challenge and influence position there's something going on Scorp you don't know what it is you don't understand you can't see it clearly it's hidden from view but it's having a negative effect on your money flow your ability to make or generate or create money it's having a strong effect on this um, seven of pentacles here your lack of achievement right it may be the reason for the lack of achievement and this may involve secret unknown enemies this may involve hidden deep factors within the subconscious mind or within the situation that you cannot see buried deep it could even be planetary for some of you I see unknown factors or dangers possibly some dark days ahead and these days are dreaded or anticipated by you there's a lot of fear uncertainty and anxiety in your current energy field and this repels money from you it doesn't attract it fear of the future so when you look at this you look back at this all that you've done all that you've invested in you see that it hasn't panned out or what you're currently thinking of investing in you have a fear that it will be a waste of time money and effort as well this moon tells me that you're in this emotional space a fear-based space and that may be affecting your uh, spending habit, your spending, um, or your clutching to and holding on tightly to money because you're in this fear based space and you're letting the emotions rule. And there's lots of confusion about what the right next move should be where to invest, what to invest in. You don't want to waste any more time, money, or effort. You don't have it to waste. I feel the moon <clears throat> is saying that you're not listening or tuned in enough to your inner guidance. So perhaps you need to do some meditating and um, find a way to get in touch with your higher self or to work with your subconscious mind it says that you're deluding yourself through fantasy or drugs not all of you but some of you are don't delude yourself or try to escape your reality it's time now Scorpio for practical choices decisions and uh, long-term ones going into the near future if you've been waiting on money here like you were in the seven of pentacles um, it's going to require further time right I think it's going to take longer than this next this time period focused on in this reading before that money arrives the decision lies in the power of outside forces beyond your control individuals or forces in the universe the advice of the moon is to clear any blocks from your using your intuition or your creative energy or even from your chakras 
do chakra clearing, listen to uh, Reiki uh, videos that clear sh your chakras or get some Reiki treatment to clear your chakras. Unblock um, your chakras will unblock your potential to make more money. Chakras are blocked and you may want to uh, find out what specific ones are blocked. So this card is telling me that you're not connecting with the money energy, money as an energy. Everything is energy and you're not resonating with money right now because of the fear and anxiety that's in your energy field. It's repelling and pushing money away from you. But it it also tell, it tells me this moon card that you have amazing attraction power, amazing potential to intuitively tap into the energy of money if you want to. But you've got to release the inner block of fear and anxiety and also free and clear your chakras will help you a lot. You can try working with your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, um, or get someone to to, to uh, who is an expert who can sh tell you which chakras are blocked blocking your money flow. Also, you may want to try planetary mantras. Uh, perhaps uh, the moon would be helpful. Or you can get an astrology, your astrology chart done. I would recommend a Vedic chart, an Eastern astrology chart, to find out exactly which planets in your chart are negatively affecting your money flow. And then you can address that through uh, Vedic remedy. or just um, better timing, um, using better timing uh, when you make purchases or uh, invest in things, using astrology to time those events would help you. So go deeper into those, that understanding, Scorpio, if you can. Also think further about what you want to invest in for your future. Invest in in terms of your vocation um, or whatever it is that you're thinking about currently spending money on, laying down money for. Uh, think further about it, okay? Stop yourself. Slow your roll. The moon is here. It's not a good time for making decisions. You're emotion-based, fear-based. And uh, this card advises you to be more practical and more rational before you spend or circulate. Let's, let's call it circulating. Before you circulate your money, be more cautious and practical and rational. But your final card I see is the Three of Cups. That's the card of celebration in tarot. So maybe you're going to be celebrating. Remember, this is between now and September 1st. So you've been frustrated by a lack of results in your finances, fearful about new, making new investments and decisions. You're fearful that it will be a waste of time and money as well. You don't know what the fuck is going on with your current situation or why exactly it's happening. And you are not getting anywhere with your current situation. You don't know what to do instead of that as well. There's confusion in respect to future actions. You need to avoid escapism, Scorpio, and avoidance of reality. But I do see cause for celebration on the horizon with this Three of Cups. It may involve a water sign individual, Pisces, Cancer, maybe Scorpio. You also have Earth energy in the chart, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. For some of you, this Three of Cups isn't so much a cause for celebration. It isn't as good as it, I thought it was. This is just for some of you, because you're. this is for the ones of you that are doing that escapism, delusional fantasy thing that I talked about. Maybe you're smoking or drinking too much, or you're too much in your head with this fantasy goal. 
that you set for yourself and you need to be more real realistic instead I see you still encouraging um, this these waste of time energies hopefully you're more involved than that Scorpio and you're cutting your losses now and you're redirecting yourself re uh, with your reevaluation here in the seven of Pentacles and um, this three of cups will be a cause for celebration a reunion with money I see a reunion with money I see uh, encouraging money flow ahead right this may uh, may come in as a result of what was held up or what you were waiting for um, due to those factors outside of your control either those decisions um, or what was holding up uh, individuals from making decisions that would positively affect your money flow will be cleared up or you'll be doing the spiritual work I said the, the self-help work I said and clearing up what's hidden within the situation maybe um, clearing blocks in your chakras or um, opening up your third eye or uh, coming up with creative ideas that will better your situation and once you uh, make make honor that, once those factors fall into place, I see an issue of money flowing in towards you that you'll be very happy about and you'll be celebrating that, right? But I don't see this happening until after September. Okay, so let me pull for you uh two oracle cards let's do the wisdom of the oracle you got the peace card from wisdom of the oracle give me a second to find that spot in the booklet and i will read you your prosperity message for peace prosperity message for peace this is one of those times scorpio when you're capable of clear vision about your work and how to create your prosperity Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough for you are in a uh, in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. I think that's um, an after the fact. After you do what I've advised you to do, you'll be in this better peaceful place where prosperity is flowing naturally and will be in harmony with you okay so I feel like that's that's that more so applies by you taking the advice of the tarot that I just gave you so let me give you one more oracle card this is from the Akashic Tarot and you got the card of the seven forces balance so there's some scales that, that uh, the situation needs to be balanced, uh, harmonized, adjusted. Yeah. Okay, so um, however this message applies to you, some of you may be confronting some important legal issues or tax issues during this time period. You may have to deal with some paperwork. There may be a need for legal action to set right your situation. Be patient. Pay attention to details and technicalities. All these things are very important right now. But the future bodes well and justice is at hand. Take heart, Scorpio, at the sight of the golden light that washes over the scene in this picture, in the picture of this card. It is a sign that all issues will come to light and that a beneficial and just resolution is coming your way. The energy that you put forth now will return to you in the future. 
And remember that your energy production is up to you. So continue to be aware of your thoughts and your actions. Your inner balance now leads to a beautiful destiny and tomorrow. Get your chakras balanced. That's what I feel you need to do. Adjust and balance those chakras will align you with a better money flow and also help rectify whatever is going wrong in your career or however it is, your business, however it is that you're making money. All right. Thank you for tuning in. I'm, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please make sure to leave comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Please join me on Patreon. Support this channel or leave a donation. There's a donate bu uh, button on the homepage. And we'll see you in September. Blessings. Hank and Dan.